What does it take to transform a 30-year-old airport terminal into a brand new world-class facility? One that doesn't just handle millions of travelers each year, but wows them with breathtaking experiences at the same time. For Changyi Airport Terminal 2, the answer came in the form of a massive renovation project that has added 21,000 square meters of space to offer even more services and refreshed facilities. But this was no easy feat. What, what was the issue? The team is kind of uh, quite concerned. Uh, there's an error detected by the scanner. Amid the global COVID-19 pandemic, Changyi Airport Group embarked on a bold transformation plan to breathe new life to Terminal 2. Terminal 2, with its iconic Solori board, has delighted passengers since 1990. 30 years down, in January 2020, Changyi Airport Group shared plans for its expansion to meet growing demands for air travel. Construction was planned to be done in phases, but the global COVID-19 pandemic threw plans into disarray. In May 2020, the terminal closed completely to passengers as the pandemic brought travel almost to a standstill. But behind closed doors, CAG and its partners continued working day and night. Through the pandemic and the many restrictions that came with it, the team was determined to present a fresh new look for Terminal 2 when the situation turned around. As travel resumed with the reopening of borders, post-pandemic, the south side of Terminal 2 was operationalized in May 2022 to welcome the return of more passengers. But works at the Northern Wing continued at full speed, in preparation for the terminal's full reopening. With five months to the official reopening, time is ticking and it's all hands on deck as the team worked in anticipation of the refreshed terminal's most spectacular reveal. Serene and Gallon are on-site today at the Wonderfall, a giant 14-meter sprawling digital installation set in the middle of the departure hall. Their goal today is to ensure that the LED panels, all 892 of them, are installed perfectly. The installation has been quite a challenge. Of course, the height from where we are seeing is about 14 metres up. We had quite a lot of discussions about what's the right equipment, how we're going to do this in a safe manner. The panels must be precisely installed down to the millimetres. We actually need them to make sure that all of these edges, which connects seamlessly around, does not have any gap. You can see the, the laser that they set up, right? It's for them to actually align the pixel so that everything is actually straight. So that as, as they move up, right, everything is just one whole piece. Works are also progressing well in the transit areas of Terminal 2. Glenn is overseeing the construction of a dramatic and immersive garden, Dreamscape. The garden features a special acrylic walking platform and a digital sky. There will be aquatic plant below the platforms and fishes. This will be something that very new in airport. The platform is constructed with multiple acrylic panels that must be a perfect fit. And it isn't as easy as it looks. The workers have to maneuver within the tight spaces of the garden. Today, they are transferring the last panels into the ponds using this A-frame ladder purposely designed for this purpose. Uh, it weighs about a few hundred kgs. A lot of space constraint problem here because you can see the panels are almost fully covered the ponds. We struggle a little bit from the beginning but finally we are today for the last piece. About a hundred meters away, another garden of a different kind was also in the works. Glenn takes us to the Gourmet Garden, a dining area with lush greenery for passengers waiting in transit. You can see all the old organic shape for kiosks nested under the overhanging greeneries and green walls. Passengers can see the tarmac under the garden setting. Dorothy, a horticulturist, works closely with Glenn. She is on site today to monitor the progress of transplanting the plants onto the green wall. Just make sure no disease, no insects. I'll clean before you put it in. Uh. 
So we have a range of 200 over species and hybrid throughout the entire project. We have different textures, so you can have a good uh, layering of a 3D look and feel on a 2D wall. So we are very used to a very um, flat green wall. When the plants of different texture put together, it gives a different look. With one is protruding, giving a more 3D texture. One is more flowy, that it gives a more flat look to the wall. As the green wall stretches to the ceiling, the planting process is very challenging. Different types of equipment have to be used to bring the workers all the way up to the top. They have just completed the places that are accessible by the scissors leaf. Those that are interfacing between the hanging greens and the green columns have not started because they need this spider leaf to bring them up. Maneuvering between these tight spaces are quite challenging, so they need a bit more time. It's four months before the terminal's reopening, and the giant 14-meter digital walls construction is finally completed. The wonderful team is down today in full force, to test the visual effects and to discuss how the various parts of the project would come together seamlessly. Moment Factory, CAG's partner for the creation of this digital experience, is also on site. So the digital waterfall project actually comprised of uh, four teams. One is the PMO side, which is ourselves, managing the timeline, the budget, and also Hoti side that is managing all the landscape. EC side, experience creation team that is overlooking all the content of the digital waterfall. And last but not least, the most important is the projects team that help to build the structure to support the digital waterfall. For us, we've actually completed most of the finishing works. Um, we actually started out first by installing the main structure in yeah. order for the screens to be able to be installed. The content is almost there. I think Moment Factory is working on site right now. Yeah. Uh, they are still tweaking some stuff. For planting wise, um, it's almost done, except that there are some change of plants that are not doing very well. I think they are pending some light adjustment and alteration because you can see some shadows here and there in the patches. Sorry, one thing to highlight. You know the water is the irrigation. Yeah. Yeah. So fine tuning the irrigation because it's dripping a little too excessively. Yeah, near the speaker. Yes. A bit concerned. The team will have some time to work their magic on these issues to get the installation ready for the opening. The irrigation is throughout the entire wall. You can see some of the trickling now onto the speakers. So we have to manage and fine tune as we go along to see what's the optimal for the plants as well as to prevent the spillage out of the green wall. Back at the Gourmet Garden, Angel from the Experience Creation Team is working to add a more delightful touch for the kids, a special bear-themed playground. We have like a limited size and space for the playground, but we wanted something iconic and still be fun for the children to play with. We have very precise measurements that we need to keep to due to the infrastructure. And so here we have a 4-meter mother bear and a baby bear. After all, working on this, I'm very happy that it's going to be completed soon. Very excited to see it come to completion as well. Over at the Wonderful, the team is all geared up for an internal preview by senior management. Emotions are tense, as this is the first time the canvas will be taken down partially for a clearer view of the giant digital wall. Okay, so today we are opening up the canvas. It's the first time we are doing it uh, in operational hours. So um, the team is kind of uh, quite concerned because we are also worried about public safety and the staff going around uh, their normal jobs. But we also need to make sure that uh, the management clears it from a distance because this is what the waterfall piece is about. Uh, it needs to be built from a distance. Because Moment Factory just started working on the audio, yeah. so they have been trying to integrate it into the service, but it's causing a little bit of problem okay. because it's a work in progress. Okay. So now we are, they are trying their best to get the audio up, which is what we're hearing right now. Feedback received, 
the team is charged to further enhance the experience as the day of the terminal's official opening approaches. We have some little hiccups along the way, but um, I think we are almost there, just fine-tuning the smaller bits right now. Meanwhile, at Dreamscape, the base of the garden is completed and planting works kick off. It is now over to Dorothy to ensure that the complicated horticulture elements of the garden can be executed well. The Transit Gardens has various hanging and upstand structures, which is a bit unique compared to the rest of the vertical structures around T2E. Structures are organic in shape, so these are closely positioned and to create a more naturalistic look. Plant selection is also another challenge for Dorothy, who had to ensure the best mix for the indoor garden to thrive. In a certain position, when it is more shaded, we will have to avoid a more sun-loving plants like the phyllanthus and we change it to a more shady-loving plant such as uh, the skindexus. So what we are looking now is about 30% completion. We are targeting to finish by one and a half months and we are on track. But this one okay, leh? Will everything go on as planned? They have to adjust me. In next week's episode, we join the final countdown to the full opening of the terminal as the operations team prepare to welcome passengers at the terminal. We'll take a peek at the jobs to be done, from testing out check-in and baggage facilities, to fitting out brand new storefronts, and equipping the newest toilets. Stay tuned!